Hi guys, let's install Arco Plasma. So we've got VirtualBox ready. We're gonna clone it. Now, if you hear Plasma, you think Wayland. Then you need to check your settings in the VirtualBox to make sure that the display is set to enable 3D acceleration. VM SVGA Renable 3D Acceleration. Then you can go ahead and load up Arco Plasma. Let's make this bigger and discuss what we see. Either you have a new system, you will find, you see this, or you have an older system, you see a logo from Arclex and but you get the same choices. You get to see three lines that are a bundle that, that go together. That's the Linux kernel. And this one is the Cache OS kernel. So the Arco Net has Linux and Linux N. The Arco Pro has Linux and Linux LTS. And this one has Linux and Cache OS. So we have four kernels to make sure you get online because that's the thing, right? With simplifying things, you need to get online and get all the wallpapers and all the settings and applications and the desktops from the internet. Okay, so that's that. Those three guys, what are they? Well, first of all, Intel AMD and VirtualBox and Virtual Machines, that's line one. The new NVIDIA cards, that's this one. We use NVIDIA DKMS. If you need other drivers, you go for save graphics or no mode set and install those drivers. On virtual machine, we're gonna take the first one. The Linux kernel that has been with us the last six years. You may see some blue things in your real metal machine as well. It just means that the kernel is looking around and finding or not finding things and that's it displaying a message right as long as it boots the kernel is fine like maybe 100 kernels out there so we'll see if cache os is sticking it's on probation we'll try it out if it's okay we'll hear it So if I would have forgotten the 3D acceleration, I would now have a black screen and a nice mouse. It will stop there. Well, you can keep running, you can keep it running, but it will not do anything, right? It has to be on a virtual machine. But as usual, I'll tell you, don't test this thing in virtual machine. Do it on real metal. The buttons. Easy installation offline means you're on the beach. What you get, what you see is what you get. In short, WYSIWYS, WYSIWYS, right? This is gonna go on your system. Okay. If you go for advanced installation, we can install more, but internet connection is required. Updating the Arch mirrors, if you're gonna install, you want to download fast. So better click on update Arch mirrors. Arch Linux mirrors. And they're all globally so many places on the world. Maybe you've messed things up in the sense that you have so many partitions and maybe it's a good way to clean everything up and start with a clean slate. This is a clean slate, this look. Otherwise, you have all kind of partitions and colors. You click on them, trash bin, click, trash bin, click, trash bin, and then apply. That brings us to the choice, right? Installation offline, let's just go through the motions and then go for advanced later on. Choose always between these three and who knows, maybe in the future, two more. Install Grub, install System Depot, install Refine. We've done 
all three, I'm thinking. The last thing we've not done yet is install Grub. So if you're watching the videos, you'll see that each time I choose something else. And this is the normal greeter. And if you don't like the thing to be, the, the, the resolution is not <laughs> the way we'd like it. You can go to the display. That's at the top, I thought. Mm, display. And there it is. You can also set it, of course, here. There you go. Apply. Keep it. Yes, please. Buy and buy. Okay, much better. Oh, why did I close that? So this is the normal Linux installation that we see on so many Linux distributions that use Calamaris. Where are you from? What keyboard do you like to have? How will you install it? You have probably less options than the others. Here I give you all the options and all the freedom that Calamaris has to offer. And then next, decide your name you're going to use and log in automatically or not and use the same password for administrator account which leaves us to the button install now okay that's a very easy system and what you'll get is this what you see is what you get oh, wizzy -wee. and then we need to go back to arco which is still qwerty here i see back to the arclix welcome because we want to do one more the advanced installation online. So I'd like to have installed Grub this time. And this, of course, is a little bit more complex. It's advanced, but still it's OK. Listen, you choose the next. Kernels, we have kernels, but yes, you can install more. Next, test out without these guys, if in need, at Nouveau, for example. SDM is installed and it's pressed, it's a, a duo. Eh? SDM and Plasma or KDE go together. So that's good, you don't have to select anything. We have um, the possibility to have this, right? This is a pure Arch thing. Straight from Arch, straight from Plasma. This is the look from Plasma, the wallpaper, etc. It's nothing changed. We, on the other hand, have developed packages so that the key bindings are working, so that the service menu, which is the right mouse click in Dolphin, are working, the ones that we like, so that the themes are easily accessible, changed to a dark theme, right? This is not available on here. This is the default. Everything is set the way Plasma the way Arch intended it. Unless you go advanced and add R packages and even more, unless you go full Plasma, I call it the full option Plasma, there are meta packages in Plasma and it has everything about education, everything about games, 20, 30 games, I have not counted a lot, right? So you can make a full Plasma installation if you like to, you just takes a little bit longer to download and a little bit longer to install. That's it. This would be basically my setup because it's a minimal one plus the Arclinix things that we've developed. Next, we've noticed that Hyperland and Wayfire are actually a good match for Plasma because they're both are living in Wayland now. And you test it out. There might be some applications conflicting, but I have not found any yet. So might be an interesting idea to move to Plasma and in the same time explore tiling window managers, hyperlinks and Wayfire. Next, all the Arclix stuff that we've developed. Next, communication. Yeah. For now on, I'm gonna just click ahead. I mean this if you have installed previously Arclix, this is just the same thing, right? It's just Lego blocks. Install this or that or this or that. There's so many choices in Linux. And you have to make up your mind what you like for games. Gnome Chess maybe, SuperTux card, stuff like that for the kids, for yourself. 
terminals all kind of terminals <laughs> lots of terminals if you have a look at that wow right but here more stuff more terminal fun stuff have a look file managers and i'll say the same thing as in the other three videos two videos in here is something about butterfs if you're going to select butterfs later on either select this one or that one otherwise it doesn't really make sense why you would would you select it if you don't use the option there still in brussels last time i checked belgian keyboard still the same problem always erase the disk so this is the butterfs choice choose it or not up to you and i'll go for x4 no swap next we give you all the choices you decide if you're going to use riserfs f2fs etc next install and we can take well we can pause the video for a while till everything is installed voila it's finished let's have a look and play a little bit so as you see this blue thing don't uh, panic about it it's just the kernel right so you can have a look here with the e we're gonna boot into the linux cache os or the other one if you want and yes we're based on arch linux we can see that now <laughs> this is the clean installation right pure arch look with some packages so they not change it this is click quickly clicked away voila this one as well and then you have to set the display again now you saw me select things from Arcalix. And we're not going to rise things in this video, but basically the work is done. Control T will give you a terminal and give you information. We can type clear and type use, which gives us an overview of the things we've done. We've used the Arco Plasma. It was built that particular day and time. We have Plasma X11 in the X11 desk session a folder there. We have also Wayland session. We're using grub to boot up. We have two kernels. We can get rid of one if we want. And we have SEDM as choice. So this is a new way to display. And from time to time, maybe we'll ask, give us the image of use, right? This little system is a great print screen. It's a great option. We have here active window, click. We have a window on the cursor, rectangular region. We can even record things. I mean, it's plasma, right? So there's that. And just a quick look, quick glance. Shouldn't do that. But the things that we've installed are extra. So these guys are new guys. These four guys are easily clickable and easy, appliable, done. We have a beautiful system. All right, enjoy Arco Plasma and enjoy learning about Linux. Cheers.